Hey everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Avernum 6, where we are making our way ever closer to Formello. We're technically already near it, but of course we're looking for some kind of secret tunnel into it. Uh, although, we might actually be very close to it. In fact, it didn't really occur to me before, but um, we did talk to this somewhat friendly slith lady. Yeah, that was right in here. Okay, so we're probably not... No, this is probably not where the tunnel is, where we... Where we are right now. However, um, it could maybe be this here, for example, uh, because when we talked to her, she kind of gave us that hint, whether intentionally or not. It wasn't quite clear to me, um, but she was l like looking to the northeast, like presumably somewhere along this northern cave wall. Then is going to be the entrance to that tunnel as opposed to somewhere closer to Formello. Um, but that being said, there are plenty of things, even though I'm I'm kind of making a, an effort to, you know, force myself to to focus on, on reaching Formello first and foremost. We are also getting slowed down and stopped by all kinds of things along the way, you know. It happens. Uh, Hawk is not looking great mana wise, and he's not looking it's not looking like he's going to level up anytime soon. But we'll see if this is still enough for this beholder kind of creature that we know is in here. Also, that might be a mana restoration, maybe? Or it could be poison. It's probably poison. Anyway, uh, we are gonna save, open this, and start fighting this thing. Yeah. I mean, honestly, a thousand hit points at this point in the game is really not even that much. Gonna do the thing that I have kind of started doing, have been doing for a while now, uh, and not use an ability on Xaz's first turn because um, he has the more powerful physical attack, and I'm using Ayali's uh, Shield Breaker. To soften up the enemy first. What am I doing? Um, guess I'm gonna probably just do a blind blow and a shot. And okay, I be sped itself up. What kind of magic is gonna work well against it? Um, probably not lightning. Although I'm not sure. Let's give it a try. Eh. It's probably pretty much resistant to all kinds of magic. Oh, that, that was good. That's a good one. 171 on the first swing. You can't really complain about that. Okay. Those weren't quite so impressive. How do you like... cold damage? Oh, that kind of works. Okay, thanks for not getting hasted. Um, yeah, fire, not so much. No haste procs for any of you guys, huh? Uh, it's super low. Actually, looks like another... Smite is actually gonna kill it, right? Yep, sure enough. Okay. And it did not drop anything. Wait. Is there anything in here? No. No, I guess not. Okay. Yeah, that was doable. If we hadn't killed it as quickly as we did, um, you know, it could have done another one of those somewhat nasty uh, fire aura attacks, but it didn't. And that is, oh, a long-lasting shield. I guess that would have been somewhat helpful. Ah, Biss of the Scourge, Essa of the Scourge, hello. Um, fancy meeting you here? Actually, I mean... Oh, Gaila of the Scourge. Wait, this is a Gaila of the Scourge. <sighs> the Scourge... Oh yeah, yeah, um, actually the, the old slit that I mentioned earlier, I believe mentioned the Scourge and the Horde as if they were, as if they were two separate factions. Or that's what it sounded to me like. 
and I wasn't quite sure if I understood correctly. Um, but uh, it might be that I did, because these are apparently off the skirt. Whatever that might be, exactly. Maybe we'll learn, maybe there's going to be some sort of document here to clear things up. Maybe I should already be aware. But maybe it's a thing that I heard about a while ago. Who knows? Um, we're just going to... Well, actually, just do a well in smite. Yep, pretty solid. Cold damage works well. You know what? Daze them. Okay, daze one of them. Good enough. I think we can handle this, probably. <laughs> Very nice. Oh no! Crap. <laughs> I mean, it's fine because we can uncheck mine now. <laughs> I totally did not notice that Ayali had become mind controlled. Let's hope that doesn't happen again. I'm sure it won't. I keep pressing the wrong button. Especially often today. I don't know why. Uh, let us just do a well-aimed icy rain. It's probably not gonna be amazing. Mm, I mean, I guess it's it was okay. There's another fire nova. Okay. Would you like to get hasted? Yes, thank you. Finally. And you, maybe? Yes. Alright, that's one of them down. And they dropped... A girdle, probably? Might be a girdle of intelligence. Kind of what it looks like, but could be something else. Just gonna heal you. Um, why don't you go ahead and cast acid? Yeah, not the most effective. Ouch. Yikes, what was that? Oh, lightning damage. Oh, crap. Yeah, I kind of maybe didn't pay a lot of attention to that. Feels like a bit of a waste in a in a fight like this. I mean, this is just completely random, right? I mean, we don't even know who these people are or why we're fighting them. I'm guessing that they're three that they're three like um, specially named NPCs. I mean, they have to be, obviously, right? Like, I mean, Essa, Gaila, and whatever the third one was could be some sort of title or something, but. I guess that they're that they're proper names, and these people here are somewhat special, but they are obviously a, just kind of a minor boss encounter. And you know, that being said, I I still would like to win, so I'm gonna go not cure, Wait. cure, cure, blessed, cured, cured. Um, okay. So somehow I did not cure Hawk's lightning debuff. Not quite sure what that's all about. But I should be able to keep him alive. Healing him like this, yeah. Okay. Um That's the wrong button. Let's cast slow. That might help. Yeah, the stupid ghost is actually doing something. Hmm. Eating up a lot of attacks, actually. Yeah. I should have moved her around like that in the first place, but, uh, you know. What's done is done. Do we just kill the ghost? Yeah, we're just gonna focus on the main enemy here. Um. Oh, I think this one might have just woken up. No longer dazed. Okay, the lightning debuff is, is actually gone for you. That's good. Okay, we just re them. Perfect. Actually ideal. Oh, you're slowed, so we have to also re-haste. Wait, no, that's not... I'm dumb. 
Haste has actually run out on a Yali, and she was not in range of that. Oh boy. And now, of course, you can't move anymore. <sighs> Jesus. Okay. Um, fine. In that case, I'm gonna press the wrong button first for good luck. Just blast them. Oh, I. I mean, that was short lived, but okay. <laughs> um. Okay, at least at least your haste works. It's nice to see. Um, you're gonna heal him. Actually, you, you need some healing yourself, but... Oh. Okay. There we go. And that debuff is obviously attack power. Okay, right. I, I can just never remember these what these symbols actually mean. But... Uh, by process of elimination, because he still has protection going. I mean, his damage is still okay. With that being said, uh, that being said, I'm still going to have you heal yourself first. All right, and now we can actually recast the war blessing. Okay. I don't suppose these few combats have given you no, not not any kind of considerable amount of XP. So. Still not leveling up anytime soon. Uh, actually, now that I think about it, it looks like the second guy we happened to kill did not actually drop anything for us. Hmm. Interesting. I wonder if it's if it was always going to be the same one, just this one happened to be the one that had loot, or it was always going to be the first one we killed. If anything, I would have expected the last one we killed to drop whatever loot this encounter was supposed to give us, but oh well. Uh, not a big deal, obviously. I literally just cursed them. Wait, yes. Cursed and weakened. So... <laughs> okay, I swear I'm not doing it on purpose. Um, those buttons are right next to each other, by the way, right? So, just so you know. Yeah, some smiting works well enough. Uh, probably just... Yeah, might as well. Just some of that, and... A little bit of... This. Yeah, it's okay. Looks like they've, they've basically given up. Although I fully expect another... You know what? Let's maybe try to prevent that if we can. Um, otherwise I'm fully... I would fully expect it just one final Fire Nova to you know bring us all down to half health just to spite us. But nope. They didn't get a chance. And we get a Silk Woven Cord. Oh. I mean, I was kind of... Correct? Not really. It's not just a girdle of genius, I suppose, the one which isn't even blue. Huh. Well, yeah, I guess I was just wrong. Um, but protection from weapons, interesting. That's a that's not a stat that you see a whole lot. In fact I'm not sure that I've seen any item with that specific kind of bonus. I mean it's it sounds self explanatory enough, but Um, yeah. Okay. Decent protection. It's not bulky. Gives it arcane lore, which is not necessary. I guess it... I think arcane lore actually gives some... protection. Hmm. Well, it doesn't... S yeah, it helps resist mental effects. Okay. It does say there. Uh, honestly, I wouldn't... I wouldn't mind having that on her just for that purpose. Even though, obviously, her mental resistance is already the highest, but, you know, the higher the better, because she's the one who can uh, also cure everyone else. So whenever she gets mind-controlled, 
it's basically over, right? Unless it's just her. But anyway, uh, so yeah, that's nice. Spellcraft is obviously nice. First aid is nice on anyone. You already have this with extra intelligence, which gives you more damage. Well, oh, I'm dumb. Obviously, 15% mind effect resistance is going to be more than uh, whatever two points of arcane lore give you. I mean, I guess we can test that. Um, that, yeah, okay, that significantly drops her mental resistance, actually. Oh, that's a bummer. Damn. I mean, it's still okay, but she's still the highest in the group, but... Yeah, I don't really want to reduce that at all. Hmm. Oh, that's mean. Don't make me, don't make me choose between these. <sighs> the bulkiness doesn't matter. This one is more protective. First eight doesn't really matter. Spellcraft kinda matters. I mean, this thing is very basic, but two points of intelligence are are worth quite a lot. Like in, just in terms of a skill point budget, and they do help out with extra mana and and spell power. So just in terms of pure offense, this one's better. I mean, I can't not, I can't not use the new, the new girdle. It's just more exciting. So I think we're actually replacing it, and and we are reducing our healer's mental resistance. That does not sound like a smart move, but it is the move I'm making. I think. Let's get those rolls. Okay, do we get some sort of documents? Anything? Uh, as a shower. Yeah, maybe. Nope. <laughs> oh, we do get a uh, spine shield, though. Always happy to see those. Some slith spears. That makes sense. Rod of defense. Not really necessary. And inventory is basically full. Oof. Yeah, okay. No explanation as to who these people were. Why they were hanging out here. Th I mean, this is obviously horde territory. So, are the Scourge just... A sub-faction of the Horde? I, honestly, I forget what exactly Old Slith Lady was ta was telling us. And as I said, the, I might technically already be supposed to know what what the Scourge is. Or, or was the Scourge just one of the three? No, there's the Manburner, there's the guy we're supposed to kill now, the, the Old Warlord, and maybe the third one's called the Scourge, and... Those off the Scourge are just their specific followers, I guess. Or something. Did any of you resist? Everyone heads home. Or mighty War Council. Hmm. Go on to Formello. Maybe I was wrong and she never mentioned those, uh, mentioned the Scourge at all. I don't know. I'm probably just confusing myself. For no reason. It's it's fine. Um Well we did clear out that place. And ended up richer, but also more confused than we were before. Uh, this is another one of the summoning circles, right? That we have not cleared. Oh a circle cleaner. Oh wait, this one's not currently active, huh? Oh that's not currently in use. That's good news. Yeah. <laughs> we'll just uh Quickly slaughter these um, somewhat defenseless janitors. Feels kind of bad, but then again, an enemy is an enemy, right? They would have fought back if we had given them the chance, so there's that. 
Slith Farmers, oh no. This is really just a peaceful farm, uh, but there's... This looks like like some sort of secret tunnel, possibly. Hmm. And this is definitely another demon summoning ritual, obviously. Okay. We have to do it anyway. Yeah, you know what? Just drink two potions. We're not getting to any, any kind of friendly settlement anytime soon. We'll just barge in. Um, if I remember correctly, last time these acolytes were actually maybe the biggest problem? Or, I don't know. Actually, maybe not. They don't have a ton of hit points at all. Let's see if we can just take them out quickly. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, that worked. Can we do that again? Almost. I mean, we can if we do this, right? Yep, sure enough. I like that. Uh, in hindsight, I kind of wish I had saved... Well, I had I'd used her uh, cooldown on reducing the Ritual Master's armor or something. Chain Infernal is... Uh, actually... Wait... I keep thinking that Repel Spirit should work really well on demons, and technically it should, but it's always disappointing, isn't it? Yeah, okay, definitely wasn't this case. Hmm. Let's try this. Well, okay, that worked just about as well as I could have expected. I guess we're dealing with the demon first. Probably not a terrible idea either way. Okay, got pretty lucky with the multi-attacks there, like that. Surely smite though, right? Smite the demon? Well, that's that was only marginally better, but it wasn't boosted. No, wait, neither was the repel spirit before, so never mind. Surely you don't particularly like getting lightning blasted. Well, yeah, I guess you didn't particularly like it, but... He also didn't particularly mind it. And it doesn't seem like we'll be able to quite finish him off unless acid works really well. Ouch. Ouch! Don't punch him twice. Okay, he did actually die from acid. Okay. Um, Alright. This is all a bit of a mess. But it could be worse. I suppose I have to... Hmm. Yeah, I have to make sure he's... Um, yeah. He's usable again. Okay, that guy actually ran away, which is annoying. Wasted some, some turns there. Wait, oh, we cannot stand there. That's annoying. Uh, just... Huh? Okay. Sure, I guess that works. Where exactly are we? We're... Exactly to the north of them, right now. Eh, good enough. Okay, now we make sure that Hawk doesn't die from some sort of stray projectile of some sort. Acid. Okay. Uh, now you're standing. Wait, are you? I, I can never tell. Yeah, he is actually standing next to this guy, isn't he? Okay, you know what? They're gonna wake up momentarily anyway, so might as well just go ahead. And do that. And uh, you're going to keep everyone alive, ideally. And you're probably too far away. 
well aimed lightning. Nice. Okay, slow down. Ayali resisted the slow effect. Nice. Okay, this guy woke up and immediately summoned something. Really, can you even reach that guy? You can. Okay, good. Um, is that gonna hit them all? Wow, it, that even hit the rats. I did not expect that at all. I didn't even think it was gonna hit the ritual master, but somehow it did. Okay, never mind then. There, finally that guy's dead. Okay, I guess I'm going to move you a bit closer. Keep killing that, that master. Not particularly effective. <laughs> Immediately summon something new. Okay. Well, that was not so bad. They also might have dropped another... No, I should not get my, my hopes up. That's probably just a curing elixir. Definitely not a knowledge brew or something. Although I want to say that the first circle um, ritual we interrupted did actually give us one of those, so... Maybe? Nice. Okay, knowledge elixir, actually. It's a, one of those really good ones. And inventory is officially full. Fantastic. And there are more things that we could technically use. Okay, so there's a tunnel of some sort here. But there might be an entrance here that connects to that. During your travels through these occupied lands, you have come to be very familiar with slith claw prints through the fields, along the roads, everywhere humans once walked. But there are few signs of Stasurikai coming here, and the totems by the passages in the north wall seem to be there as a warning. The air is cold and still, and the sounds from the nearby city seem muted and distant. Very odd, you wonder, what's keeping the invaders away? I'm sure it's nothing. It's probably just slith superstition. Oh, but this one does not actually connect over here at all. At least not immediately. Hmm. I mean, this could just... There's not a whole lot of room to the north, but it could still just loop around eventually. But, I mean, there is this place. I do feel bad about just Oh, wait, they're not even hostile. Okay, so I'm not going to be for forced to to kill them. That's nice. Curing Potion, hey. Uh, we don't really need those, do we? I'm going to take the food, though. There are several Slith Farmers cowering in the back of this home. What with the demon activity outside, they aren't sure if you're an invader or just a magically induced, a magic induced hallucination. All they do is stare at you and shudder. There is nothing to be gained from talking to them. Okay. Actually, just civilians that are not interested in throwing their lives away. That's uh, a rare sight. Who are you? High Mage Dasra. Hostile. The one coordinating all of these demon summonings? Maybe? Presumably? Oh. Oh. Servitor orbs. Interesting. And surprisingly tanky. Okay. Let's prepare a bit better. I was just just wanted to see how close we could get before things get hostile. That close, apparently. Okay. Fair enough. 
How close are you to leveling up? Not meaningfully closer. Okay. This time he didn't move out here immediately. Which means, hold on, can we get that to change? No? Wait, 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 surely... Okay, by approaching from here. Yeah, okay, that's better. Because now we can actually... Um, we could theoretically... Get into melee range. There you go. And start attacking him. Yeah. Did not do the thing that I had started doing. And I actually used up Xaz's uh, first turn to shield break, which, you know, is. It doesn't matter really, probably, but it's not completely optimal for what it's worth. Let's try some Divine Fire here. So I have a feeling like maybe leaving those Servitor thingies alive is not a good idea. I'm gonna slow them all. Okay. Maybe a good idea because he immediately hasted them. Okay. Okay. Of course, thankfully, the High Mage is somewhat squishy, as you would expect. So, maybe we just blast everything with... I don't know, Lightning? Probably Lightning. Oh, okay, the, the Orcs are actually Lightning Elemental themselves. Probably should have cast as much. You know, what with the electrocution sound they make when they attack us. Uh, oh, Ayali was actually completely stunned out of her attack. That's annoying, but it's fine. Um, we want to rain some more Divine Fire down on everything, because we can. Oh, okay, killed one of the summons. That's nice. What happened? Slowing energy, mostly. Okay. That's probably fine. Uh, do a mighty blow. Oh, the mage is actually running away? I think so, but we're still gonna kill them if we can. Thankfully, it doesn't seem like... I, was, I wasn't sure if maybe these orbs would just go ahead and explode after... You know, some number of turns if we didn't kill them, but it looks like they're just actually magical constructs that attack us, and they're not dealing catastrophic damage there. The stunning effect can be annoying, but it's not the worst. So I think it's gonna be okay just not focusing on them. And I didn't even see this extra red. Oh, that's... you know what? Probably should have healed. Were we that low on health? Or did that one Nova attack actually bring us all down? Yeah, that's um that's a wipe. Okay, I probably just absolutely did not pay attention. And stupidly attacked instead instead of healing when I should have. Well. That was completely unnecessary. Okay, here we are again, almost done with the encounter. Uh, yeah, Xaz is dead. And in case you're wondering why I accepted that instead of reloading, that's because I had to reload, or just, well, yeah, I guess I had to reload about maybe like 20 times. I don't think I'm exaggerating. Um, it's been over half an hour, and this guy has just been steamrolling us again and again. Well, he and his two stupid orbs. I have no idea how we got so incredibly lucky on the first on the first attempt 
and I guess I wasn't actually getting careless towards the end. Maybe I was, but because, well, the encounter hadn't seemed all that bad up until that point. Um, until we saw the first Fire Nova, which, of course, uh, he only used on the, like, basically the last turn, the last possible turn on the, on the first encounter that, that we ever had with him. Every single subsequent encounter, he basically... Like fifty percent of the time he used that on the first turn, and then often on the second time, uh, second turn again, if we survived, and the orbs constantly kept us stun locked. Um, it was pain, uh, and he can he can uh, terrify. If I don't know if we had, I don't think we had seen that. So yeah, that's another thing he can do. Uh, on top of everything else, um, yeah, and he summons all kinds of you know <laughs> ridiculous numbers of of things. Um, it was, it was actually insane. Um, but now, all this time later, we finally made it to the point where I think we pretty much, we pretty much guaranteed to win this one. He's down to seventy-eight. I don't think we can finish him off here unless, well, maybe. I mean, he's not gonna kill us even if he fire nova us uh, again, which he probably will if he survives. Um, he's not gonna kill anyone with it. I could survive. Yep, there's the Fire Nova. Twice in a row. Uh, I guess I had seen seen him do that before as well, but yeah. <laughs> that's that's just insane. Good thing Ayali was full health before that. There. Die, you absolute bastard. <sighs> I mean, I'm not gonna take any chances here and, and heal her, but... Yeah, the Hellhound is obviously not really that big of a threat. Really? Can't shoot it from there? Come on. I'm just... I'm just so tired. Can I... What? Oh. non luck has to be on, then I can do that. And uh, just skip. Save whatever mana you have left. <sighs> and you can see that um, after a couple of uh, attempts that went extremely poorly, I did go ahead and cast Ward of Elements and even Cloak of Blades to just improve our odds, and it still took us took me that many attempts. And on this winning one, um, after a, after a while, I actually tried taking out one of those orbs as quickly as possible um, because yeah, those just basically meant that at least one of my warriors was constantly stun locked if they even survived <laughs> all the fire novas. Um, but yeah. One of them was basically out of commission permanently, and then the other one often got terrified. On top of that, it was it was horrible. Um, yeah, and on this winning one, I guess we did manage to take out the first orb pretty quickly. And after that point, at least um, they could really only stun lock either either Xaz or or Ayali. And well, yeah, Xaz unfortunately died at some point. I don't remember exactly how it happened, but. Um, Pretty sure a Fire Nova and the three attacks from one of those orbs were probably involved because they can do that whatever little Nova of their own, and then attack twice with their stunning attack, which you know is almost guaranteed to to take away all action points. Did I mention that this this fight sucked? I'm I'm not sure if I stressed that point enough. Anyway, hey, we did it. <laughs> Great. All right. Why did I? Why do I feel like I recorded two episodes worth when really it's well, actually a surprising, surprisingly long episode already? What? Wait, 30, 39 minutes right now? For what? <laughs> hmm. Anyway, uh, it's it's probably for the better because I'm definitely ready to take a break after this. Even though you didn't see most of it, you have to take my word for it. So, what did we even get out of this? Uh, Quicksilver sandals, I guess? One of these, huh? Is that what the, what the mage dropped? I think it might be. Disruption one, repel spirit, yeah, thanks, I guess. Uh, gold necklace, um, well, that doesn't stack, so we can't take it. That's it, huh? I mean, they are valuable, so I guess... Wait, surely we have something... Well, I mean, weather, weather, leather armor is 
not worth much. So we'll just take these. We're obviously not going to use them. Plus one battle speed. I think it's just a permanent extra action point, which is nice, but not at the cost of minus two strength. That's just... I said it before, and I'm going to say it again, I guess. I cannot see how that's ever going to be... how that's ever viable. Um, I guess we don't have room for regular bread. That's fine, then. Okay, so... Uh, I mean, I suppose that mage is dead, and... Theoretically, that uh, should have... Uh, that should serve to weaken the horde as a whole. Got some infernal acolytes here. Okay, not sure if we've seen those before. Um, yeah. But uh, just in terms of pure gameplay, we did not really get a whole lot out of it. Oh, okay, so what's what's going on with this cave? Some enemies just spawned. Some undead, yeah, that's kind of what it sounded like. I mean, everything's strewn with bones. Uh, icy cold, I think, was mentioned before, so yeah, typical signs. This cavern is very gruesome. Is a very gruesome sight that is full of bones. Some of them are old and crumbling, others are disturbingly recent. There is a fire pit in the center of the cave, here to cremate the fallen. It has not been lit in a while. After Formello fell to the horde, the bones of the fallen had to end up somewhere. This cave was selected as a carnal house. That doesn't solve the mystery of why it is so cold and grim, or why the horde avoids the place. But then the mystery is solved. You hear the sound of running coming from the tunnel to the north. Several terrified horde scouts run into the room. Wait, we were told that there weren't any any signs of recent slith activity at all. So where'd those come from? And then several of the piles of bones come to life. They leap to their feet and move to trap the terrified Tsarikai. Oh. Okay. Well, that's fine by me if they're going to fight amongst themselves. Always happy to see my enemies do that. Uh, wait. Why did you get your turn next? That's unexpected. Huh? Did, why didn't Xas get to do anything? Am I being dumb again? Okay. Maybe I am. Okay, we're posting undead, of course. Pretty normal. Uh, I mean, you still have a decent amount of mana, so why don't we go ahead and speed things along a little bit? So those guys are not gonna are not dealing a ton of damage to each other, so we're still definitely gonna have to do some of the work ourselves. I mean, you could run in there. Or you could not. Some more of that. I'm, that is satisfying, obviously. It's never not going to be satisfying. And even though you're really low on mana... Did I mention that this kind of thing is very satisfying to do? So. Okay, I think now we can run in and grab some kills for ourselves here. Eh, almost. Oh, that was good. Maybe a bit unnecessary in terms of, you know, a waste of mana, but... Alright, that was not so bad. The real question, of course, is is this actually the secret tunnel, somehow? Oh, gold ring. <sighs> yeah, I mean, I will eventually... Let's see here. All these leather armors are not worth much. I know that much, so there. Um, I will try to go back and pick up more, pick up some of the loot I had to leave behind if and when I hopefully find some sort of 
way, uh, some sort of fast way back to anywhere. I can I can sell stuff. Um, but you know, I might as well take somewhat valuable things with me right right away, just in case I forget them later, miss them. Hmm. More skeletons, huh? The thing is, as I think I may have mentioned last episode, corrected myself, I should say. We don't really have any reason to expect anyone friendly in Formello. Because the city is, has been taken over by the Horde a long time ago. So, we're really only getting deeper into into more hostile territory, even if we do find our way into Formello itself. Uh, so, well, we'll see how that goes. We'll see. I mean, I feel like, from a game design perspective, it really would be nice if they provided us with some sort of outpost, just a way to empty our pockets and, and rest um, closer to where we are right now than all the way back in Fort Monastery. Which is also a bit of a pain to even reach because you have to take such a roundabout way to get back there. I mean, I know lore-wise, it makes sense that we are deep in inside, deep behind enemy lines, right? And we're we're supposed to feel like cut off from from all supply lines. But in terms of gameplay, it's it's never so long as the game does not literally trap us somewhere, you know, make a make a gate slam slam shot behind us. Um, we we can always just backtrack to you know wherever we need to be. It's just a matter of how much, how long it takes, you know, and how how much I can be bothered to to do it. Um. So, eh. oh well. Uh, for now, we're just pushing forward, and if it seems like we're just going to enter Formello and it's more more and more enemies and no safe place in sight. I guess I will just uh, go ahead and backtrack. And in fact, I could probably just do it between episodes, just to remove that additional stress element. It's probably a that's probably a, a better a better call, to be honest. Because again, I don't really have any reason to expect that we're we're gonna find any sort of safe haven anytime soon. Maybe I don't give the game enough credit. Maybe it's nice enough, but either way. Um, Enough rambling. You enter the tunnels under the bone cave. It looks like there was a magical workshop down here. It's been mostly abandoned for many years. It was used for alchemy and perhaps worse things as well. Worse than alchemy? Hard to imagine. Recently, someone has been working here. Some of the tables have been cleared off, and there are signs of recent alchemy and stoneworking. You listen carefully and hear two things. From deep in the tunnels, you hear the faint echoes of stone scraping on stone. Hmm. And much closer, you can hear... Yes, someone is humming. Stone scraping on stone. Hmm. I mean, that could mean a number of different things. Although in this case, probably some sort of stone constructs moving around. Because, I mean, it could be some sort of mechanism. It could be like a, a stone door sliding shut or open, I guess. But I would expect that to happen as a reaction to, to something we did, and not just some, some random background noise that's just happening. Uh, so, I don't know. Someone humming? Uh, some sort of crazy necromancer, if I had to guess, I suppose. But, I guess we'll find out soon enough. For now, we got a bunch of different skeleton types, including this pretty tanky one. That's nice. Oh. Let's just go ahead and see if we can uh, take out one of the squishier ones right away. Not quite. Hmm. Okay, we also need a war blessing, some haste. Um. What? Wait. How did that not affect two of them? That were clearly within reach. Also... Why did you get healed? Wait. It was healed, right? One of them was almost dead. 
What's going what's going on here? Uh Huh. Well if you move away, you're gonna lose your turn. Okay, well I suppose in the end it didn't really matter. It didn't even matter. Um Okay. That worked. I guess you can try that again. Uh, might as well. Use all your power. Okay. Okay, skeletons did not get healed this time. That's nice. Really? Oh no, never mind. Okay. For, for some reason, I th looked for like a split second. Like that skeleton did not die. What? What was that? Why did it only hit one of the skeletons? Okay. I don't know. There are things happening here with <laughs> with a line of sight that I don't fully understand. I guess it's a line of sight thing. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Well, that's those skeletons taken care of. Oh, hey, now you're moving. Interesting. I guess that's fine, maybe. I don't know if, uh, if we want to be this close to you. Blistering bones could mean all kinds of bad things. Hmm. I'm really not quite sure. Okay. Against actual undead, Repel Spirit does seem to work pretty consistently. Yeah, okay. I mean, I did not consider Blistering Bones uh, to mean that it would use acid attacks, but um, some sort of AoE is not unexpected at all. <sighs> Could you stop it? Parrying enemies are definitely a close second favorite right after Spine Shields. Okay, thanks. Thanks for allowing me to hit you. I'm gonna play it safe and heal again, uh, and I suppose play it even safer now and just repel spirit you to death. Holy crap. <laughs> Okay, save. Did you drop anything special? Maybe those things. And they stack with something we already have, which is great. Uh, yep, those as well. Very welcome. Lightning, sure, whatever. So... Don't see any scraping stones or any anyone humming yet. I guess... All of that is deeper in. Oh, there's a death pit of some sort. Okay. Oh, there's a button. Oh. Do we have enough matter for that? Yes. Uh, this journal has been left down here for years. It's full of the mad rantings of someone named Hirikis? What? Wait. That guy? Wait, wait, wait. Hirikis was... Oh, the one... Yeah, in, in Aetheron's Lair. What? Huh? So, is this where he was originally from? And he had to run away when the Horde attacked? Interesting. Left barely readable by the constant creeping moisture, and yet the ritual described on one page actually seems useful. Describes how to make a ward that will protect you from magic attacks. What if elements? Useful. Okay. Uh, 
Ancient Rickets, huh? So, 55 minutes on the clock. Honestly, with uh, that somewhat physically and mentally draining experience with the, the stupid mage earlier, and uh, yeah, the fact that there's clearly more to this place, I will just end the episode here a bit earlier than usual, perhaps, but I mean, this is really the time that I should aim for. Uh, so, that's exactly what I'm going to do. Uh, as I said earlier, I will probably go ahead and just, uh, you know, bite the bullet and make my way all the way back to Fort Monastery to heal up, but also, more importantly, to uh, sell stuff. Of course, we are kind of getting getting close-ish to that uh, money cap again. So I guess... I, I think we're still safe. We're, we're not going to make more than maybe like 2,000 or so from all of this stuff. It always looks like, you know, way more than it's than it ends up being in terms of monetary value. But we do have some, some pretty good things in here. Um, by the way, why are, why are we not using the Flaming Sword? I guess we because we had been fighting a bunch of Sliths, but now against Undead and other non-Slith enemies, maybe... We want that again? I don't know. Um, yeah, but uh, we do have some some pretty decently valuable things here. But yeah, I, I think we're we're still safe. We're not not uh, quite gonna hit the the money cap yet. But um, that's something to keep in mind. Perhaps I'll have to find some somewhere. I mean, it's not a problem to finding somewhere to spend money. It's just deciding on where to spend it at this point. Because there there might still be a couple of worthwhile things left. Anyway, um, for the time being, I thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment, and I shall see you real soon. Bye-bye.